Hey guys, Indulger here, back with some more Fire Emblem Heroes. This is week 108, I think, day two. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified when I post this series. Alright, I'm going to do something different today. I'm not going to look at the defense. We'll, we'll take a sneak peek of what happened here. Didn't mean to touch you there, this year. Sorry about that. Um, but we're back on track after a bad day one. Uh, I'm just going to try to do a fight to start us off. And <laughs> if I like the fight... We'll do a mock battle in the defense. Normally, my day twos are such garbage, so I'm going to hedge. And if it's not interesting, I'm just not going to post today. Hey, it'll be like uh, roulette. I was going to say Russian roulette, but there's no, there's no real downside here. Uh, okay, we covered the teams last week. This is my core. It's been my core for quite a long time. I covered the fact that Corrin is now at 15 flowers and 10. And I managed to get him defense base, so he's going to chill... He's going to soak all chills and shrines. And Veronica is my bonus unit. Well, she's not the bonus unit. The bonus unit this week is Naga. And she is one of my best units. I mean, we saw her yesterday. She managed to heal Kane up because of the Dumas. And that was very effective. We've got two Adel teams, Advantage team, and finally Hector team. We haven't seen Hector in a while. Will we see him today? I don't know. Hold on. I, I always gotta check a verse. I ah, <laughs> see, and there we go. So I always gotta make sure that is set because I always screw her up. She's always doing my arena core stuff. So let's do it, guys. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, okay. First off, we've got Cane Killer. Depends on what she has. Depends on what she has. I can probably survive it if she's helped along by other units. I'm feeling like we're gonna record this one. All right, what do we got? Ground orders? Nope. Ground orders? Nope. Guidance. Double guidance trap. So what rallies? It's got to be rallies. Rally speed. Yep. Rally defense. Two rallies here. And how does this floor get involved? Because there's an armor march. And how many dancers do we have? Two. All right. So there's a guidance here. These generally match up very well to me. Do you an armor killer? Are you an armor killer, but I just Yeah, I mean these are these are <laughs> a beast and an armor killer. I just don't think Lynn's gonna have the firepower to beat me up. Now she does have an impact skill. So yeah, I feel like we're gonna record this one. Feeling like this is gonna be an interesting fight. Uh, you know, I'm leaning Kane just because, again, th these are all things that Kane does well against. Defense-based things on Astra? Um, with Naga as the bonus unit? <laughs> That's a bit silly. Like, it's a bit silly. I, now now I've, I've laid down the gauntlet, and I have to back this up. All right, let's just say, let's just play this out. Uh, let's just say I tank here. What's going to happen? Well, you could rally here, or you could rally here. Um, I could fjorm this. We could, we could just vantage this. Yeah, we can. We can do that. We do have a bolt tower here. So this does seem vantageable. Flora always gives me trouble. It's a plus two. Fortress is set. Got some shrines over there. Level seven. They are serious about this. Don't quite get the panic banner in the face. I guess that's just a throwaway for the week because it's panic banner week. That's fine. Catapult. Well, see, I don't get that. I mean, you should at least do something here. A level 1 catapult there is not going to do much. So they're just basically acting as an obstruction. Okay. Yeah, there's all kinds of rallies here. Hmm. Tanking positions probably here or here. If I tank here, I have to deal with that floor up front. And she's going to get drive. That's probably not an ideal tanking position because of the, the drive attack there. If I did it here, would I kill her in one shot? That's the thing. Mm, yeah, you're not using an AR, like, A skill. What else do you do with your weapon? If units res is greater than... Reduces my defense by a difference of the stats. Yeah, basically it comes down to... Can I... <laughs> can I kill you in one shot? And then have a Lin to follow up as well. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if I can survive all this crap. I mean... <laughs> Ladders be damned. I don't even care. Welcome to AR where the points don't matter. Um, I've been watching a lot of Who's Line lately. Sorry if you don't guys don't get that reference. It's a late 90s, early 2000s American television show. <laughs> uh, I drop a lot of, like, 
like memes and quotes. I don't think most people get. I'm too old. Um. Again, we, we played with Adol yesterday. Adol's gonna have to deal with the Lin with the armor killer. I mean, this doesn't match up great. It doesn't match up great with any of my units. Again, I could vantage this. Can I one-shot the Flora? Can I one-shot the Lin? I mean, she's... Yeah. Will she kill me in one shot, though? Probably, because Altina doesn't have... She doesn't have natural... I mean, she doesn't, right? I mean, I mean, that's hell. Hell has that weapon. You don't get that. Oh my god, I'm stupid. She does have it. So she is neutralizing the effective against flying bonus. She will have decent defense. Uh, I could pause and run some math here and see if I could actually survive this. Sturdy impact. Should die. And then from there, could anything else kill me? And we could do Super Altina, and that's just a, a level 1, so as long as I have more than 40 HP on this Altina, I could do it, which I do. There's no Duma here. So, I don't know, what do you guys want to see? Let's do a poll where no one can answer me. We'd rather, rather see Kane or we'd rather see Vantage. It don't really just come down to this. Can I, can I beat this Flora in one shot? I think so. She's not really getting any boosts. Now, this one is going to get Scald, and it's going to give her some Omni buffs. I don't see a lot of Olivia's very much. I mean, this is a poor man's <laughs> Azura, basically. Extra three. Yeah, honestly, it comes down, can I survive this Lin hit? So let me pause, do some math, see if I can figure that out. Yeah, guys, I think it will work, actually. So here's how I ran the math. Um, again, if we look at the rallies, yeah, there's the, oh, okay, there's the cleaner here. What could happen which I don't know if this is likely to happen. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. I, I, I'm actually assuming that Rally will jump here, but how does that work? Because there is no ground orders. It's just a guidance trap. So if I came here, what Rally actually happens? They have guidance. Oh, okay. So that can jump. You can jump here to Rally. And I have a cleaner... But I don't really need to buff Altina, as long as I can survive one hit from Cecilia, which will be 60. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. And then, just doing the math real quick on this Lin, it's 6 attack there, and then 4 in her weapon, so that puts her at 57. Give 20%, give or take, that's like 70. Yeah, I mean, Altina's effective bulk is like in the 80s, so it should survive it. And again, I did look at her A skill. How do I? F how did I forget that you had this in your A skill? Like you, if neutralize effective against flying bonuses. Because I don't tank a lot of bows with you. It's a little bit ridiculous that I can survive a blue bow hit, but I think I can. And I forget this. This team actually has Micaiah here. This is the first time I've actually really used Micaiah. So, yeah, what I think will happen will be a rally speed because there is only one play, and then this rally can't get there. So, rally speed. I don't know which one of these dancers will go. I mean, logically, the Olivia would get, do more damage for the Cecilia. And then I get a cleaner hit. You know, am I going to have enough... Uh, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing here. I might not want to tank here. I might want to tank here just so the rallies don't happen, so the dances don't happen. Just so I can get the dom the dominance active. And as long as nobody can kill me, which I don't think you guys can. Again, this is... Lucina's got a lot more attack, actually. She's getting 4-4-4. Four, four, four. So that's very similar. <laughs> Maybe we just don't want to use dominance round one. Or hell, maybe I just... Where's the... Okay, so this is probably not the trap. I don't know why they'd give me a free trap. I actually think I can maybe one round clear this. If I just throw an Altina here with dominance, I, I think I might actually one round clear this. <laughs> Regardless if it's not the trap or not.
All right, all right, all right. I gotta figure this out because my battery's about to die. Yeah, I'm leaning Altina. I think Kane would be more interesting. Let me pause, collect my thoughts, and make a final decision. I'll be right back. It's just a little nervous. I'm just a little nervous because of, of the Cecilia. See, she's going to ruin all of the dominance plays. She's going to ruin the ability to do much of anything with dominance. Because she's going to rally, and I can't stop them. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Yes, I can. I have a freaking Fjord here. What the hell am I talking about? Do I have enough HP? She's got 49 HP, and I have... No, I don't. But that's that's before... That's before the Mythic boost, right? How can I tell? How can I tell if it's before the Mythic boosts? Crap. I don't know now. I, I, I should know this, but I don't know. Um... Okay, what could I shut down? If I just shut down this Cecilia, and then even this Olivia. So I just have a Fjorm here to start. Maybe reposition a Fjorm over here. Yeah. That prevents the rally from happening, and then... And if I do that, couldn't I just come right here? No, not really, because that, that jump there with Guidance still exists. So... I have to worry about this Lucina as well. This is really complicated. <laughs> I like this team. Uh, I said I'd come back with a solution, but I lied. One more time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go gonna go Kane. I'm gonna tell you why. Um, I know there's two armor killers here, but I just all the rallies just make me nervous. It just really does. I feel like I can control the situation a lot more with Kane. Got some natural blocking here. I don't think I'm going to have to deal with the floor right away because she's not going to rally here because she, that won't have a play. So I don't have to deal with that floor turn one. I might have to deal with the Lucina, but that's okay. She's a complete joke to take on in terms of Kane as long as she doesn't break through through the line. So what should happen is a rally here and then I'm assuming a dance with the Olivia. Can I one-shot the Cecilia? Will it matter? I don't know. That's the fun. That's the fun. I mean, it's very possible we're about to die. I am not would not be surprised in the slightest. Would not. And the cool thing is, I don't even actually have to be safe here unless Lucina somehow gets involved. I don't see it right now. I don't see how that would happen. I don't see it, but it's say if she somebody came here and swapped in, yeah, okay, she could go again and then hit me in the back line. Again, this is going to be a theme. I, I have to have both of these buffs to make sure Kane doesn't get chilled. So what I could do is something like this. Pivot up. And then, but then, unfortunately, then how do I get... Oh, well, yeah, okay, and then... And then I reposition out, and Corrin just comes right here. Yeah, that could work. What can you do, Veronica? Anything? I, I would kind of like your support. Maybe we just waste a turn? Yeah, and we, just, we should just waste a turn to make sure we get Veronica buffs, too. Oh, correct. Right, 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 right. I need to make sure I don't... Because of the cleaner, I don't want to get too much buffs. There are no res here. So I'm just going to drop this Naga out of the picture. As long as nobody gets that buff, then corn will continue to soak as normal. So that's all I need to do. And maybe this is sufficient now. It's a reposition. Maybe I can do this turn one. Yeah, because I just come up here with this Naga break that Corrin. Well. Wait, how's Kane getting up there? <laughs> uh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. It's always something that gets me. I can't have my smite here to smite the Kane up. Yeah, so we could just waste a turn. Uh, these don't seem that hard to get. 
We need to break stuff anyway. Is there a restore trap? No. What is your desire? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning toward that. Yes. And I just leaned yes. right into it. And can't have Naga near Kane. Alright. It's now or never. Was this big waste of time a waste of time, or was it due diligence? We're about to find out. We want to break the panic manner. I think so. I don't really see a reason why I want to keep the barrier. These are all kind of sitting ducks if I can survive this assault. Again, I'm going with the defense just to stop the Cecilia, because these are all defensive units. Really getting messed up. What are you getting messed up from? Six, seven, six? Where are you? Are you getting buffs of some? Oh! You got. You're a tactics player. That's silly. On Panic Manor Week. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. God has blessed my steps. I'm gonna bless some steps up in here. Walk up. What is your desire? Uh, I mean, Naga, what do we wanna do with you? After that point, do we care? I'm hoping we'll have Cecilia dead by that point, so... Yes. I'd like to do something like this. Again, I always have to make sure I have placement for the buffs that make sense here. Otherwise, I'm going to get chilled, because these still exist, and I want to make sure that happens next turn. So maybe we'll just play it safe. Maybe we'll just play it safe and keep Naga down there, because I, I just don't like design? that. There are no dragons to worry about here. I don't know, guys. Here we go. Let's see what we got. There's the rally like I expected. There's the dance like I expected. There's the zero damage. Oh, really? One, one HP? Okay, so we got a Wings of Mercy play here. Oh, that is just not what I expected at all. <laughs> this is not what I expected at all. But there you go, guys. So when I get a buffed up Kane, he's going to continue to get that buff. That continues, that's going to continue to fail. Uh, guidance is still active, so that rally will happen again. I don't think I have to do anything. I just sit here and just wait for it to come yet again. I don't think I do much. Do I just end turn? Welcome to Kane, where <laughs> you just end turn stuff. All right, she blocked again. Now, now she's going to go after me. Oh, you had a glimmer, did you? Zero damage for you. Smoked you. Wow, guys, I'm even out uh, done myself. I really thought I'd have some trouble with that, and they're doing zero damage. And she did seven. She's going to get this Glacies. It hurt a bit, but she's dead, and now everything's dead. Dancers are dead, and that very scary field is all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I really like that. What do you guys call end turn players like me? Glue glue eaters? Glue sniffers? That's fine. You know? I'm all about things that work in life. I don't really ever really consider uh, <laughs> people's like hatred or, you know, what's the, what's the word I'm trying to, to go with? Like the snobbery of like tactics that work or do not work. I'm going to tell you a little secret, guys. In life, it doesn't really matter how you do it as long as it gets done. <laughs> and that worked out just fine by me. All right, from here, we've got three turns. Sorry, I went to a little spiel there, didn't I? Um, Olivia, you don't have that much speed. Veronica's got a decent amount of speed. I don't really... I mean, I... Veronica just has to be the one that gets hit here. Um, can't really step up too far. Let me pause, because I just need to figure out this end-of-game stuff. It's not very interesting. All right, I think I'm just going to knock out that Azura, break this thing, reposition, and then we'll have a chance to, at that point, I think smite somebody up in here. You know, you don't have any surprises for me, Olivia, do you? No, get rid of that Azura, and this thing, and come up here, and Corn breaks that, Naga gets that. Ah, I can't get that. Yes, I can. I have Naga. So wherever she decides to go, I think I've got a solution for her. That's just fine. And that's the solution to day two. Fun little team. I mean, I think I could have probably vantaged that, but uh, that was okay. That was okay. 
Alright guys, I, I'm gonna do a defensive review. I was gonna try to do a mock battle today, but it's getting late in the day, and I'm tired, and uh, my battery's about to die. <laughs> so let's do a quick defense review, and then you get yourselves on your way. That was fun. I really like that. Alright, upcoming attack is a Layla and a Plumeria. Plus one Adel in red. I don't think it's red season anymore. That was last time, was it not? Or am I mistaken? And they're also mistaken because they just fell for a pretty easy Adel trap. So this just didn't work out. I think it's just going to be like, ah, I screwed up. Yep. Sorry, Dio Dan. Happens to the best of us. Is it red season? It still is. I'm stupid. I'm the dumb one. I really thought we were done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, one more. And for the first time in the history of the channel, guys, I think I'm going to turn on animations for this. Because this is just so much fun. This is Adel on Adel action. We'll get to see here in a minute. Ethelin, Adel, Alphonse, Altina, and Naga. So much like the last opponent, they're going to take me on. They're going to do Adel versus Adel. Get ready, guys. Get ready for some Adel on Adel violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Mine's going to be better than hers, though. <laughs> Zero damage. Cling. 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 Oh, this is even better. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, the only way you can beat me is with dominance. That's fine. I like big numbers. Cling! <laughs> Alright, this one does a little bit of damage, because I had a solo there. I actually had an attack solo on the other one. Yeah, six damage. I'll spot you six. You can have eight. Now, one of the reasons I really don't like playing with animations is because they're too damn fast. Like, I can't see anything. I wish they'd slow down the actual animation speed by, like, a half a second just so I can see the sprites. It literally gives me a headache when I'm trying to look at the sprites. It's just too fast. Am I just old man? Are you guys just not... Am I just not keeping up with your speed anymore? I don't know. That's one of the main reasons I don't have animations on. It hurts my head. Screw you, Alphonse hurting little fairies, just mind their own business, just trying to murder people with trying to support the axe ladies. Also, this takes forever. <laughs> One more dance. She gone. Yeah, this maybe this may maybe be a thing. When I get a full clear I'll turn on animations because it doesn't happen every day. This is always nice to see. I hate Alphonse. Every iteration, every version of Alphonse, I will hate. I hate him. I hate when his name is Leaf. I hate when he's with his sister. I hate when he's a bunny or whatever the hell he was in the seasonal. I hate his normal form. I pretty much just hate Alphonse. Yes, Watamode, that call out's for you. I hate Alphonse. You can't stop me. Stop. You can't stop me, blue dragon lady. You're dead. So we'll end it there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I had fun <laughs> while I'm here. Let me change the settings back to off. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments for me, if you want to be part of my mock battle series, leave me a comment on this video. Check out the video description for full details on how you can be featured. I routinely feature newcomers here on the show. So if you haven't never been featured, you will pretty much be guaranteed to be featured uh, the week that you add or you request it if the queue is not too big. And it's not too big right now. Uh, I'll probably get through most of the folks this week. All right, guys. Look for me. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.